Research has been conducted at RMIT University on the improvement of aircraft accident investigation through expert systems. This research project aims to analyse aircraft accident investigation and to review some of the off-the-shelf tools that support these investigations. The expert system methodology developed for this application has proven to be a robust method of analysing the aircraft accident investigation process. Via an analysis of accident statistics, a two-round Delphi study and the development of the novel investigation tool named GP1020, the methodology has drawn several valuable conclusions related to improvement of investigation outcomes and air safety. The research indicates the factors that could contribute to obtaining better results of an aircraft accident investigation, and it shows the facilities and procedure resources that have an impact on outcomes of aircraft investigations. Most importantly, in reference to obtaining a better investigation outcome, this work addresses the need for creating a tool in the form of a computer program which can use stored expert knowledge coupled with an inference engine to process this knowledge and provide safety event analysis to users of the program. That is to say, the research concludes that aircraft accidents investigation could be improved with the application of a global expert system as a tool for storing and analysing the forensic data of aircraft accidents worldwide, with the option to learn from aircraft accidents using an inference engine to propose possible causes based on forensic data provided. Such a system will ensure that valuable data is not lost and is used to its full potential. As a consequence, the computer program GP1020 has been created in order to demonstrate how expert systems could contribute to facilitating and enhancing investigation results. The outcome of GP1020 is a novel investigation tool in the form of a data mining method designed to improve forensic data use by the aircraft accident investigators. The GP1020 program interface asks the user a tree-based set of questions related to conditions of wreckage, accident site and other circumstances relevant to accidents or incidents. Given enough information, the program is capable of narrowing down all known possibilities to indicate the most probable causes of the accident or incident. GP1020 includes two main features. A forensic approach to the procedure of an aircraft accident investigation, such that the flow of information procedures and the rise of knowledge about the occurrence during a real investigation is followed by GP1020. And, being a simple and efficient IT solution in determining the probable causes of an aircraft accident occurrence mainly based on stored expert knowledge. The causal factors and their consistent evidence stored within GP1020 are highly classified. This allows the creation of a huge and flexible database appropriate for a quick across search. Thus, within GP1020, a large matrix was created, where rows represent the list of all possible causes of the accident, and columns represent the different portions of evidence that may be recovered during an investigation. It is clear that the author's intention of providing an entire list of all possible causes is probably very difficult to achieve. However, this task could be completed with high accuracy by the development of a global expert system as suggested in the conclusion of this work. The original matrix is then converted into another format, which is appropriate to the needs of GP1020. The second table of the figure shows how GP1020 may ask the user questions in order to determine the causes of the accident or incident. For instance, if GP1020 asks the question associated with E5, then a positive answer provided by the user will automatically finish the procedure, as only cause 4 includes evidence E5. 
On the other hand, if GP1020 asks the question E1 and the user provides a positive answer to it, then the program will generate further questions related to C4, C8, C2, C1 and C7 that include this evidence. The first condition for the successful application of an expert system in any scientific field is the amount of specific expert knowledge stored. While the author was attempting to solve this task, the conclusion emerged that creating a comprehensive database of causes of accidents and their distinguishing features is far beyond an individual's or a small group's capacity. Therefore, the author decided that the NTSB Aviation Accident Database as stored expert knowledge is a tremendous resource available for accomplishing the task of creating an expert system for aircraft accident investigation. The NTSB Aviation Accident Database is available on the NTSB's website, which contains highly classified and downloadable data sets of more than 140,000 aviation accidents. The computerized findings are identified in a sequence of events as occurrences, phases, causes, factors and or events. The existing code system includes 51 phase codes, 54 occurrence codes, 1,593 probable cause subject codes, and so forth. As said before, GP1020 is a comparative program that utilizes understanding of causes and factors from an immense number of previous aviation records in order to simulate possible future accidents or to hasten air crash investigation efforts. The current version of the GP1020 software was to act as a prototype purely to test some of the fundamental mechanisms required by components of the expert system methodology. The most appropriate choice for developing GP1020 turned out to be Microsoft Excel. It had built-in commands for data mining, sorting, statistical analysis and linguistics analysis. It also has numerous accuracy checks to ensure that any cell formulae and scripts are as correct as possible. Essentially, it allowed focus on the development of the fundamental logic over any of the program codes required for allowing application execution in any specific operating system. It also avoided the entire issue regarding how to insert the historical data into the program as Excel is already capable of handing numerous table data formats. About the only thing it may and apparently did lack is efficiency in terms of computation speed. The initial intent for the program was that it would interface with raw historical data and be ready for questions moments after the integration. However, it was apparent early on that a separate program would be needed to alter the historical data records into a form that the inference engine could use. In Excel, the ideal form for the knowledge base to suit the comparative programming that GP1020 uses would be as a table where each investigation or case is represented by a single row with consistently occurring types of information represented by various columns. The inefficiencies given by Excel should largely be reduced when the fundamental logic in the knowledge basis pre-processing is transferred or altered to suit the chosen operating system or program of its future users. At the very least, the data limitations of the knowledge base and its preprocessor should grow parallel to the increase in computing power that will probably become available to it. Given that the program was computed on a personal computer, increasing the knowledge base to include all forms of relevant recorded data should be feasible. 